So we're coming at you again, YouTube, at 10542 Kingston Pike at Mad Vapes here in Knoxville. Today we're actually going to talk about something that a lot of customers around this season, especially when they're getting new mods and new builds and everything, we're going to talk to you about a little care. Now, what I'm running today is the Vaporesso Taro Pro. Uh, this is a mod we've actually done a review on before. It's a great little mod. It has pass-through charging right through here. Standard USB micro cable. But um, a lot of people are getting devices and, um, and in tanks, uh, they're not properly putting in coils and it's causing leakage. And one of the main things you want to be careful of is when you have juice leak out, you definitely want to wipe that up. Don't let it dry on your device. Also, th this is all, all devices, even the unregulated ones that do not have a screen that tell you the that tells you the wattage you're running at, you don't want to let any liquid or or even debris from your pocket basically get into the in the internal part of the of any box. Uh, what that does is that will start to mess up your connections. Uh, you could possibly start to see your batteries not read uh, a lot of the times, and this is the most frequent problem. This is why we're making the video uh, right here on top. Now this is your 510 connection where basically a tank or any RDA when you attach it uh, that little connection piece each piece comes with a small metal strip and I'll take mine off real fast just to show you guys um, and most most of you know what I'm talking about this is very elementary stuff but it's that piece right there you want to make sure that that's clean um, they do have grooves for so you can screw them in just also try to keep those clean as well what works best is if you get a cotton ball or honestly what we use at the shop is a paper towel we will fold that up and wipe it now down in here where it actually screws in finger for illustration you want to get keep that as clean as possible uh, and this is just something that happens naturally it's not uh, poor care but when you are Putting on a tank, a lot of times juice, because when you when you juice and it can run down the sides, it collects up under there. Now it looks a lot of times it will run down the sides. Of course, wipe that up. But about every three days, I will take every mod that I have apart and I'll clean that out because that juice basically collects under there. And since it's tight and the heat and the pressure builds up right there. It will actually bake that oil, or not oil, but the juice. And so you want to get that clean and keep it clean. And if that does happen, it's an easy fix. All you got to do is, once again, get a paper towel. Um, I, I use cotton balls at the house, little ear swabs, and you can clean out down in this connection. Now, that you want to keep clean because that's what connects. And if you get a check atomizer or anything like that from your tank, it's probably because that's having a disrupted connection so you definitely want to keep that clean now another thing is when you're dripping this happens a lot when people drip because they'll over drip and it collects down in here and you'll get a pull you'll get a little reservoir down inside there kind of like a belly button if you're sitting in the tub your belly button fills up with water and that is an awful analogy and I can't believe I just used that one but anyways what try your best to do at least every three days and clean it because not only when that juice gets there and if you're bad like me and I don't put a, a vape sock over any of my mods I just put them in my pocket like everybody else and I go debris will collect that juice will basically catch the debris and it gets it real dirty and another thing is these are sealed all of the connections are sealed However, when juice you do have a juice spill, don't let it get on your front screen or inside the box, especially around your batteries. That will cause it to short out. If your wires get juice on them and you start to fire that thing, it's not going to turn into a ticking time bomb and kill anybody. But what it will do is it will short your device out and 9 times out of 10, once it shorts out, it's done. And it's that time of season where people are getting some very fancy mods and we just hate to see people come in here 
and buy, for example, one of these and use it only three days and they just, which it wasn't juice, he got water in it because he had it in the bathroom with him and he took a really hot shower and that steam and it was just condensing on the mod itself and that's the outside was perfectly fine he said he wiped it off but when we opened it up you could see the water beads all throughout his where your batteries go on those connections and right up top which I'm going to take mine off and show you this isn't the mod that was actually destroyed but this is what we're talking about this general area and when you take out the batteries his was malfunctioned right here and the way we could tell is there was a black spring there basically where it the electricity because that's what we're running through these things it's not wind powered or solar powered it shorted out and when it shorted out it just burnt the device up the memory board everything in there was done for so all all this video is is we're trying to show you guys basically how to keep everything clean the biggest thing is wipe juice off of it don't don't take it in the bathroom with you when you're taking a shower because it it does happen and we I just I hate to see somebody buy these and then that happen if this does happen to you feel free to bring it in to us guys uh, me William Pope and Jonah we all are very advanced in these things we know how to fix them and there's two of us on a shift a day now one of us will be more than happy to take a look at your mod work on it and get it up and running again nine times out of ten it's just someone did a build they wrapped their coils and it owned too low and it wouldn't read that's usually what it is uh, if you want to learn how to properly properly build come in on Thursday nights we have build nights on Thursday nights um, you can come in even if you're beginner or advanced we will walk you through um, We'll work with you one-on-one, -on -one, first of all. Uh, it's not like a general class where you'll be taking notes. We work with you one-on-one -on, -one on wrapping, basically anything you need advice on. And the great thing about that is once you learn from us how to properly build and everything, it opens up a gateway to just some ridiculous builds. I mean, we have people come in who just got a mod, they want to build, don't know anything about it. We show them the basics, how to properly wrap, how to get... The correct ohms how and give them the general knowledge of like how many wraps is going to equal ohm on what wire and things of that nature and then they will go out and they'll start to educate themselves and they will come back with some of the craziest builds that i've seen the best flavor on there are builds out there that are pushing clouds that for our cloud comp we don't have enough numbers to actually measure it so if you guys are interested in that, Thursday night starting at 5 o'clock until we close, we do that. But anytime, you can stop in and we'll help you with your mod. We'll clean it. We'll talk to you about it. The tender love and care that every mod deserves. And on top of that, every mod that we sell, we have hands-on experience with. Uh, we don't carry th anything in the store that we don't know anything about. Uh, before we bring it in the store, we get 100% educated on it and basically basically become the vape experts on them. Uh, we can tell you the wattage, the batteries it's running off of, any of the hardware, if it's new, if it's got the DNA 200, 250, 75, we got the whole shebang. So we'll be here all day, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to call us or come on in at 10542 Kingston Pot. We'll be here.